Hello, my friends, old and new. I'm Kathy Rowe, and I am here to convince you to start using Zoom. Now, I know a lot of people my age and older, we've been a little resistant and thinking, oh, this pandemic's going to be over soon enough. We don't need to learn it. But you know what? It's not getting over. And I know like at the senior center where I've been teaching, they're not going to have the classes in person this fall. Everything's going to be Zoom. And I know so many people are like, oh, I can't do it then. But no, don't you worry, because I am going to lead you through how to use Zoom, just like I wish someone would have explained it to me. And you know, why do we want to use Zoom? Because it's a social program. We can watch workouts and everything on YouTube, but it gets kind of old not being with your friends and your teachers that you've been taking with. And you know, we want to be social again. So we are going to learn it. I'm going to show you how to use it on your computer, if you just have a computer or your phone, or your iPad. All three of those things work. You're gonna love it. So we're gonna start with the computer. Now, <clears throat> if you have a laptop, it might already have a camera in it. But if you don't, and you just have a desktop or the big kind that sits on the floor with a screen in front of you, you're gonna need a webcam. Ah, I know, that's like stops everybody in their tracks right there, but it's so easy. Look, I'm going to show you. This is a webcam. You just get it from uh, Amazon and you click this to the top of your computer screen and then you click the other end. Where is it? You click the other end. It's just a USB port. You just click that into your computer and it kind of takes care of itself. It just sees itself and starts working usually. So you need a webcam. If you don't have one, don't worry. There's a link below where you can just go on Amazon. If you're on Prime, you'll have one like the day after tomorrow. So you need a camera. That's the first thing. Now, if you're on a computer, you are going to want to um, download the Zoom program. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to go, like, let's say you just opened up your computer. And on mine, I have uh, Google Chrome, so it looks like this. I'm going to go to Google. So here I am in Google, and I'm going to type this. Download Zoom, because I want to download it onto my computer. And here it shows you, you know, everything it found. Now, Zoom is not a .com. Zoom is .us. So when you're looking for the download, like you see here, you want to find the one that says Zoom US, not Zoom.com, Zoom US. And then it's so easy peasy because all you have to do is open that up. And when you open that up, just straight from Google, you're going to see this download button and you push it. It puts in the installer. That's just what happens these days. So then you're just going to click on that installer and it's going to say, do you want to run this program? And you say, yes, you do. And you click this little run button right here and it's going to put it on your computer for you. There you go. So once it's on your computer, it's going to be a little icon that looks like this. So it will download something on your computer that looks like a little TV camera, like that. Now once I, put, I click on that, that zoom icon, I get this. I get this picture. And what we want to do is join a meeting, unless you want to host your own meeting. But I'm just showing you how to join a meeting. So how are you going to join? Whoever invites you to their meeting, they're going to send you an invitation. Now the invitation might look like this. This is what they'll send like in an email. I know, it looks like gobbledygook, right? And maybe you could just click that top link and it's just gonna open right away for you or if you've downloaded that program that we just did, you need a secret code to join. And when they give you the email, it's going to have that secret code, which is called the meeting ID. 
So someone invites you and you have the meeting ID, you're going to just come here to this join the meeting button and when you push it, you put in the meeting ID and you put in the password if they want you to have one. I never require a password when I have meetings, but some people do and it will be in that email. Now, as soon as you put in your meeting ID, you're going to kind of get to the meeting, but then there's going to be a little um, button that says, do you want to join with your computer audio? And you're going to say, yes, you just click that button. And that's how everybody's going to be able to hear you. And voila, you are in the meeting. That's all it is. So that's pretty easy peasy, but let's just say you want to join on your phone. With your computer, you just download that app or application, we used to call them programs, right onto your computer. But on your phone, you have to do it a different way. On your phone, you have this little icon that goes to the App Store. If you're an Apple, you know, if you're an iPhone. If you have an Android, I think you go to the Google Play app. Anyway, you hit on that little app, and then, you know that magnifying glass down at the bottom? You're gonna search. You click the little eyeglass or magnifying glass and you search for Zoom. And then you're going to see a bunch of icons come up. You wanna pick this one. To download it, you wanna download where it says Get. So as soon as you do that, you're probably gonna have to put in your Apple ID it's a free program, but they're going to make you put in your ID anyway, your password, your Apple password. And then it's going to download right onto your phone. Now you have to wait for that little circle to go around, that little blue circle going around. That means it's downloading. So as, as soon as that little circle is done filling in the blue line, then you click on it. It will say open. And there you are, you have the Zoom app. Now all you have to do is touch it. It's going to open Zoom, and then you're going to do the same thing we did before. You're going to join a meeting, and you're going to put in the meeting ID, and you're going to say, yes, you want to join with video, or no, you don't, you don't have to. And then you're going to say, yes, you want to join with computer audio, if you want to be heard and then you're into the meeting. Now, if you're on an iPad, it's the same procedure as if you were on the phone, except when you're on the iPad, you can see a bigger picture, so I recommend the iPad. And also, you know those commercials you see for Zoom and it looks like the Brady Bunch, you can kind of see everybody? That's because they chose gallery view. Gallery view means you see everybody on the meeting, which is kind of fun, but if you're taking a class, you want to kind of have the teacher be the big picture. If you want to see yourself, you'll see a bunch of little pictures across the top or bottom. You just tap on it and whatever one you tap on is going to become the big picture. Just tap on what you want to be seen and there you are taking your Zoom class, easy as can be.